Go ahead. Thank you. Why did you guys decide to rebrand the rise in gas prices as the hashtag Putin price hike? I mean, if you want to use that on Fox, I welcome that. But oh, I think it'll get a lot of airtime because we have heard the president warn for months the gas prices were rising because of the supply chain and because of post-pandemic demand. If you guys knew for months that this was going to be the hashtag Putin price hike, why are we just hearing that now? Well, Peter, if we go back to six months ago, I don't think anybody was predicting we would be exactly where we are as it relates to Russia and Ukraine. As you know that events in the world, including the invasion by Russia of a foreign country, does uh, prompt uh, instability and volatility in the global oil markets. And there are all sorts of different issues that can impact that. That's what we're seeing now. Outside economists and analysts have conveyed and said publicly that Russia's invasion, Russia's buildup of troops, President Putin's decision to do that very early this year led to a lot of the instability and volatility in the oil markets. You don't have to take my word for it. So therefore, if President Putin's buildup of military troops is leading to volatility and an increase in oil and prices, hence you have a Putin pump, gas price pump. Okay. Uh, you, and the, you and the President are both talking, <laughs> thank you, you and the President are both talking about- Spit that out. It, you and the President are both talking about producing energy here, saying that oil and gas companies have 9,000 permits to drill now. They could be drilling right now. Would President Biden cut red tape to make that possible? What red tape needs to be cut when they have the permits, uh, they have the capacity to do it? What's holding does, them up? Does President Biden think that each of these 9,000 leases that are available have oil or gas in them? Because industry experts are saying that uh, that accusation is, is a complete red herring. Some permits are viable and some are not. And that when you say that, this represents a fundamental misunderstanding as to how this process works. Well, first of all, the nearly 60% of leased acres remain non-producing. That's a lot uh, in the range of 20 million acres. So there are 9,000 uh, unused approved permits to drill in. They should not require that. Should not require us inviting them to do that. They should do that themselves. They can't get the, the additional permits. So would the president? What additional permits do they need? There's no. The, they have the leases are there. The permits are there. I don't think they need an embroidered invitation to drill. That is, they are oil companies. It's what is what is happening? What is hap? But look, what is ha the permits have been granted, Peter? What is permit, what is happening mm -hmm. here is that we are seeing these are private sector companies. We recognize that. Many of them are making record profits. We see that. That is all publicly available data. They have pressure to return cash to investors and their shareholders. What we're saying right now is there is a war. We're asking them to, to uh, go uh, use the, the approved permits, use the unused space, and go uh, get more supply out of the ground in our own country. Okay, and then just a quick yes or no, because there's a lot of gray area here. Oh. Is a restart of the Keystone XL construction completely off the table as long as Joe Biden is president? Well, why don't you tell me what that would help address? I'm asking you if it is an option. You guys say all options are on the table. Is restarting Keystone Construction one of them? If we're trying to bring about more supply, that does not address any problem. It's supply from Canada, a friendly ally, instead of that, Saudi Arabia. That's already or Iran. that's we're already getting that oil, Peter. It's the the pipeline is just a delivery mechanism. It is not an oil field, so it does not provide more supply into the system. Is it does it not address. Is it possible that Joe Biden will ever say? You there's, guys can go ahead with construction of Keystone XL. There's no plans for that, and it would not, not address any of the problems we're having currently. 